hi booktube <coughs> time to make a video i thought what i would show in this video is the used books i recently got at thrift stores because i want to put them down in the lower level where our main library is oh i could get this fire out of the way here candle here so yeah so yeah w here i go to thrift stores every week looking for used books to add to our library so this is what i found this week i found this book how to read literature like a professor a lively entertaining guide to reading between the lines by Thomas C. Foster. And I got another copy of this book. Uh, I showed this in a previous video, Unquiet Mind, A Memoir of Moods and Madness by Kay Red Redfield Jameson. I'm reading her book on Robert Lowell right now, A Study on Mania by her. And I found a book of poetry by Pablo Narot. Nur, Nur, Nara, I can't pronounce his name, Pablo Nira, Nerda, The Captain's Verses, the Love Poems. I can't pronounce names, it's really, I mean, I look them up and I, I forget how to pronounce them, but anyway, I got that. And I got this box set of the writings of Thomas, not Thomas, Henry David Thoreau, uh, Walden. It's a really nice set. I got, I got this box, uh, slipcover box set for a dollar. Henry uh, David Thoreau and Walden. Henry David Thoreau, The Week on the Concord Merrimack Rivers. And Henry David Thoreau in Maine Woods. And also in here is his little essay on civil disobedience. So I got that. If I see anything by Henry David Thoreau, anything by Ralph Walder Emerson, anything by any transcendentalists, I just buy it for my collection. I have many editions of Thoreau's works and books on him and biographies and studies. I just, it's part of my American transcendentalism collection. So I got those, and then I found this book, uh, In Praise of Slowness, Challenging the Cult of Speed, by Carl Hanor. Hanor. I've seen this at the library used bookstore, and uh, somebody wrote in it, but it's not underlined. So I got that. We're going too fast, meaning to slow down. And I got this uh, Waging Peace, The White House Years, A Personal Account, 1956 to 1961 by President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Uh, I'm into American history. Uh, I just like knowing uh, it has like chapters on the civil rights, all kinds of things. Uh, so I got that. And I got this uh, travel memoir, Naples Declare to Walk Around the Bay by Benjamin Taylor. It's pretty nice. Nice things inside about, about Naples, Italy. You know, you know, nice tarred back, you know, really nice pictures inside. I collect books. I have all kinds of books on Venice, Naples, Rome. Uh, and i never probably ever going to go there. Even though I could. I have the money. I have the time. I just, just don't like flying. People say, take a boat. Take a ship. Well, I'm afraid it'd sink. <laughs> so I don't know. Then I found this, The Glory and the Dream, the Narrative History of America from 1932 to 1972. I already, already had this. I didn't know it. I have a big paperback edition. 
So I'll take this to the book nook, the library used bookstore Saturday. And I found this book, America's, uh, America's, this is a uh, Italian family, the, the Medici's. Rockefellers and the Astonishing Culture Legacy by Susanna Loeb. Uh, the Rockefellers were patrons of the art. They, uh, you can see this inside their homes. They have all this art from all over the world, you know, modern art. They collect the art and they put it in art museums. And this is more like an art history and how they donated art and collected art and for it's now an American art museums. So I got that. And I found this book. Uh, these are byline Ernest, Herm Ernest Hemingway selected articles and dispatches of four decades edited by w William White. Uh, Ernest Hemingway was not only a writer but he was a journalist and he these are his dispatches uh, when he was over in Europe. I was more interested in his dispatches during the Spanish Civil War from 1937 to 1931, also his dispatches in the Second World War. And uh, so these are just like little journalists that, that he wrote for newspapers. So I got that from my Ernest Hemingway collection. And I found this book, uh, The Book of Nothing, Vacuums, Voids, and the Latest Ideas About the Origins of the Universe by John D. Barrow. I got this. <clears throat> I got this novel by Lewis Begley, Missler's Exit. And I got this novel by this uh, Din, uh, Danish writer. His name is Peter Hoag. This is Smiley's Sense of Snow. I have two other novels by him in our library, and I saw this at a thrift store, and I collect his novels, so I got that. And I found this book called Crown and Veil, Female Monasticism from the 5th to the 15th century, edited by Jeffrey F. Ha Hamburger and Susan Marty. Uh, I collect books on monasticism, female and male, uh, medieval history, ancient history, monastic orders. Uh, it was really in perfect shape. Uh, really nice illustrations throughout it and it's a Columbia University Press edition. It's in perfect condition. So I add that to my my library. And I found this book on this uh, great battle, Thermophophy, The Battle That Changed the World by Paul Car Cartledge. Uh, I collect books on ancient Greece, uh, the ancient world. These are stories by this, I think he's an Irish, yeah, he's an Irish writer. This is Rodney Dull, store, uh, bullfighting, his short stories. I collect his novels. I found this novel, Waiting for Robert Kappa, by Susanna Fortz. This is translated out of Spanish by Andrea De V. Lopez. And this is Marjorie Kennan Rawlings' memoir, Cross Creek. She's famous for her novel, The, the Yearling. And here's Eating Animals, which is on animal rights by Jonathan Sofran Foyer. I have his novels in our library. And I don't have his nonfiction on animal rights. And uh, The Good Life and This Discontents, American Dream in the Age of Entitlement, 1945 to 1995 by Robert J. Samuelson. Uh, so I got that. And then I picked up this biography on Laurence Olivier, who's a very famous classical actor, movie star, 
uh, it just looked interesting. Uh, I don't really collect biographies on movie stars or actors, but I have a few. And this is on a, a Laurence Olivier, a biography by David <laughs> Donald Sputo. I have his uh, biography on St. Francis of Assisi. He's written all kinds of biographies. Most of them are on, on actors, actresses and actors. So those are the used books I picked up at thrift stores this week. And um, yeah, tomorrow, is, this, is a, this is a Wednesday night. It's 8.29 at night here. It's uh, April the 5th. Tomorrow is a Thursday. Uh, so yeah, that's what I got at thrift stores. You know, all kinds of books. But just to add to the, to the book mountain, as my wife says, throwing them on the heap. <clears throat> but, <clears throat> like I always say in my videos, I'm a book collector and I like collecting books and finding interesting books and, and finding stuff, you know, like poetry. <clears throat> books on books. This look interesting. How to read a literature like a professor. I was looking at that. There's a chapter here on on reading the Bible. <clears throat> so yeah, and you can't go wrong reading Henry David Thoreau. So that's what I got at thrift stores, and so now I can put them down in the library tonight and start over. Uh, tomorrow it's supposed to snow here. I've gone to all the thrift stores this week, so I've done all my rounds. Uh, I got books coming in the mail. I got a CD today, a death metal from Poland today. But So I'm doing okay. I hope you're doing okay. Thank you for the subscribers. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for your support. And uh, yeah, until next time, bye.